when I have a quick project share, I have a little Halloween project and then I have a Christmas project. So I'm trying to get together some happy mail for a friend. And so this is going to be going out in the mail, hopefully within the next week or two. Um, it's kind of filled with goodies right now. That's why it's like bursting at the seams practically. But um, I use the Beautiful Nights um, paper pad. A little folio. Um, I wanted it to hold a six by six paper pad. So that is why I made it the size that I did. And as you can see, I added a bow. This is All Hallows Eve, a fun little witch here. And then I added some ribbon with some bling and this little fun spider. And it is Velcro. And I did do a little bit on the inside, as you can see here. And then here is the um, inside again. I added some pockets in here. And then on the inside of these, I made a little uh, heart rosette Halloween um, embellishment that she can put on something if she chooses, if she wishes. So it says Bon Voyage. Um, I got that at Michael's a few years back. But here is my little heart rosette. And I put that in there. I also have one more in here. This one has a little tag that I made last year. I'm just going to keep that in there. And then here is the other rosette. It's another heart rosette. And I just added the word spooky and a, and a couple little bats and a little ghost behind. Um, I'll get them both out. Oh, I also have this little Halloween scene there that I have in here. But um, it has a little ghost and a little bat. And then this has a little spider hanging down. So... That is the little um, rosettes that I created for, for my friends. So I hope that she likes that. And I just have that in with that. And, um, oh, I was going to also share these little tags. Goodies inside, I'm going to let her go through as a surprise. So here are the cute little tags. I added some gingham ribbon here at the top. And I used um, my stamps and stamped and then um, embossed them with some white embossing powder. And then on the back, if she wants to use a white gel pen, she can write something on the back. So these are the little tags that I created. These are from the stamp market. Um, in case you're wondering, it comes with a stamp and a die. So really fun. I hope that she enjoys that. So everything else is just the goodies that I have in there for her. And because it is so full, I have to wrap this around it. I also added some bling here as well. So there is that. Okay, so here is my little gingerbread box. Really, really fun. There's a little gingerbread man. I made it into a little tag and he's holding a little peppermint. The peppermints I also included here are in different colors, just to add a little bit, um, something extra to the box. And I did the same thing on this side. I also used my um, blending tool and added some um, ink around the edges to make it look like it was um, baked. Here's this one. And then I also used my Versamark and stamped all these images and then I embossed it in white embossing powder. And um, I really love the way it turned out. So the little house has all these different sides. And then here I just um, stamped it in a different color and then cut it out and then um, placed it on the box. And then again, I um, used the white embossing powder on the paper. So then it opens up like this to um, add a little something special in the box. Okay, and this is my last project to share with you today. Um, I did use um, a different little roof. Um, this is a cute little gingerbread girl. She has a little bow in her hair. I added some gingham ribbon and then here at the top I, in different colors, I do have the little gumdrops. I love the roof. It's a different roof than this one. As you can see, they're two different roofs.
And then I did the same thing with the little house all around it. And this is another little stamp that I embossed. It has the other side. So I love how it's on all sides. And then on the inside, I added some of this red um, beads so that she can make shakers. I did add um, some different kind of glitter here. And then I made some little tags that I, um, I embossed in white embossing powder and then I cut them out of the red cardstock. So here is, um, this one's on brown cardstock in white embossing powder. So she can write, you know, on those with like a black pen and still be able to write on there. This one has the, um, the red cardstock with the white embossing powder on all the rest. And she can um, use these on um, her different projects. That one says warm wishes. Do not open until Christmas. And then I did make a few more rosettes. So let me get those out here. So I did make some Christmas rosettes and these are um, out of the heart rosettes as well. And I embossed these in white and then added some bling in the around and in the center. So there is the snowflake and the Christmas tree. And she can embellish these further if she would, if she would like, of course. And then I did do a fun little gingerbread man with the little bow holding the candy cane. And again, this is on a heart rosette. And then um, I used um, one of my dies to make the peppermint candy behind. And then last is this little gingerbread house with a gingerbread man. And um, they're both embossed in white. And then I added a little snowflake behind. So those are my projects. Um, thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye.